you got to make the right choices in life. When, some, when somebody says drugs are cool, you say they're not cool. Get the oil out of Iraq. Get the hell out of Iraq. What's going on? Okay, um, I finally um, got myself up to do a video. Um, I've had many, uh, many people ask me um, about doing this video uh, for Mouse Care 101 on a small scale. This is not for a large scale. This is small scale. This is something that you can do inside your own home or your bedroom. Or wherever else you want to put them uh, this is very very simple okay <clears throat> uh, today I'm gonna to show you on 1.3 that's one male three females um, per little 10 gallon tank which is this right here and that's plenty of room for these mice trust me they don't need very much um, but they do have comfortable room right now I'm gonna explain the equipment um, that you might want to use uh, first of all everybody knows you want a water bottle just like this it might drip a little bit but it stops as well and you just throw it in the corner like this okay very simple next is a food dish yes this is <laughs> this is dog food unfortunately I ran out um, I'm waiting on a shipment which should be here within the next week of more Harlan rodent diet that's what I use um, there's different feeds out there for rodents. Um, I use like commercial rodent diet uh, from Harlem. Um, there's a great company, great product and everything, but see, I take care of my mice and rats and I love them to death. So <clears throat> that's how I do it. And plus I sell rodents on a, sm uh, on a small scale also to local shops around the area um, and in Virginia. So I, got, I make sure all my stuff is 100% healthy and just on a pure good bloodline scale um so right now basically i'm using dog food to tidy them over which is good um but i don't like feeding dog food some people do i don't but this is something that needs to be done just for the meantime um there is rodent food at like places like walmart um your local grocery store probably um you can buy but personally i will use harlan rodent diet um let me see okay a wheel something for them to have exercise um, because you know sitting in a little small 10 gallon tank uh, might get kind of cramped a little little cramped so you put it right there and I use simple free toilet paper rolls <laughs> you just drop them in there like that they'll move them where they want them um, it's very simple next um, for the equipment list you want a screen lid like this and you want little latches like this, which, boom, you take your latches, and I put it near the water bottle, because they will climb up in the water bottle, and if it ain't secure, they can pop that up and get loose, and believe me, you don't want rodents running loose. All right, so you see that. Oh, man, a little tight. All right. Now, let's introduce some mice, shall we? Uh, okay. Let me go ahead and get the mail. Which here he is. As you can see from his back end, that's how you can tell he's a male. You can tell by his little little ball sack there, <laughs> um, which he does have. Uh, what I do, I'll drop the mail in. You want to grab? Go ahead and grab your females, which are just beautiful. Look at the coloration on her. I mean, she's a perfect, perfect breed. And let me see, get my smoke gray out, uh, which is one of Token's little babies also. Um, right now I'm using Cartman for this batch. 
Um, I named him Cartman, which is my male mouse, and I used his girls. And this is how I pick them up, so it, you know, just, you know, lets me not get bit all the time, which I've been bitten numerous, numerous times by rodents over the past since I've been doing this. And look, this is how simple it is, y'all. And if the clips don't uh, fit down all the way like that, you take it, squeeze it together a little bit, and guess what? It locks perfectly. Now you're set up uh, and ready to go. And there's really nothing else that you need to do except for watch the females. So when they get bigger, they'll have a little golf ball size to their bellies. That's when you know you want to move them out. All right. Now see this? This is your simple pet carrier that you can buy from basically any pet store or whatever. They're real cheap. And I find that they're, if you're breeding inside your home, these work really well for pregnant females. Um, some people use them drawers, tubs. Okay, you can do that, but you know, I give them a little class. You know, these are my a lot of my favorites. I got a, I got so many rodents breeding inside, um, inside our rodent um, houses. Um, it's not even funny. So, basically, I give the good ones real high class, you know, accommodations like this, and it looks, you know, it looks pretty cool. And like I said, you can line them up. They don't take no space at all. And it's perfect size for the mother and her babies. Which, matter of fact, give you a little treat right now. There's a nice little teeny pinky. Um, the cold little one. This one's going to be a... Mm, I can see the colorations already on her. Um, but this is a nest right here. I extracted the mom already. Um, so I can give you all a good look. Uh, the nest is right down here. <clears throat> I put a little water bowl in here and I just sprinkle food over here in the corner. And it does the mama, the babies, everybody does great. I mean, it's awesome. Um, let me get the mother. I'll show you the mother right now. The mother is a smoke gray. Um, see, she's still a little big there, but you know, she's lost a little bit of weight since the babies came out. And this is what they call a smoke gray. Um, you know, they do good decolorations. in some way but I'm just an easy going guy and I appreciate their 